one of the, um, I think, great assets that you guys have that you talk about doing more with is the Great America out in California. Um, you know, I know that there's some zoning complexities, but could you update us on, on where you are in the process of uh, uh, investing in that park and what you think the opportunity is and the time frame to, to you know, reap that opportunity? You know, if you go back, it's a great question, Barton. If you go back several years, we really identified uh, a couple of markets as true growth markets for us. Yeah. Our Carowinds Park in Charlotte, our Great America Park in Northern California. We have the zoning in place and we could run hard and run fast at Carowinds. And as you know, we scaled that park up over the last several years. We've taken our learnings from that and gone back to Great America. We completed a rezoning process uh, early, in, early last year in the 17 year. And we now will have the zoning to go do the things we want to do. It's a little more complicated market out in California. It takes a little bit longer to work through the development issues. So it's, we can't run at the same speed or as, as fast as we would like. We've got a robust plan uh, targeted at that market. It's one of the more attractive markets that we operate in. Uh, you know, the, the qualified audience out there uh, is, is significantly larger than we have in some of our other regions where we do extremely well. So we think there's a lot of growth there. We think we've got a sequence and pace uh, at a responsible level. We'd like to run a little bit faster than we can, but we're, you were really targeting over the next few years to drive that like we did Carowinds. Uh, but that's one we're probably going to be a little more patient with. Okay. All right. If you, when do we start to see some of the fruits here? Does it take even a couple of years before we start to see things get out of zoning and get into actual impact on the park? Yeah, we're making, a, we made a lot of improvements this year. We've got a lot of improvements, particularly in park, uh, attached to food and beverage over the, over the 19 season. And then you'll start to see us bring online a lot of uh, really targeted things uh, at the market in 2020. Okay. All righty. So some interesting developments coming out of CGA and Cedar Fair. So it seems like, um, if I'm to analyze this uh, business kind of call slash uh, meeting that they had uh, recently, I think it was actually a week ago, it seems like CGA um, has only been delayed due to some zoning problems that they had with the county or the, the city or the state, whatever it is. I don't know too much of the details of why they're having troubles with the zoning, but they are. Um, it seems like there was just a bit of a delay and 2020, all things will go full force again. Um, which is really good news. Again, we have stated since we saw that permit kind of pop up that it was canceled, we have stated that we don't believe the project is canceled and that there would just be a slight delay, something similar to what we saw at Canada's Wonderland, um, where a coaster project is shipped to another park or for other reasons, just a slight delay. And it looks like that is exactly what happened. So CGA's hyper coaster could be in 2020 by the, um, the end of that little call, um, you can hear him say that 2020, um, things would start to go full force. Um, some of their little investments into the park. So that's good news. I don't know whether that's going to be the water park or the hyper coaster, but it looks like their plan, their expansion plan is going to start in 2020. So um, doesn't sound like anything's changed. They told the stockholders that everything seems to be um, all right and uh, nothing's changed. So from what I'm gathering, they're still going to get a hyper coaster. They're still going to get that water park expansion and they're still going to get that the flat ride packages and the little entertainment um, entrance way that we saw at Hershey Park as well. So I don't think anything's changed at all in terms of the expansion plan, as I just discussed. Uh, it looks like 2020 is the start year for CGA's expansion plan, which is really exciting for those of you that have were maybe a little bit let down and we're starting to think that it was canceled. Um, so yeah, super exciting. I wanted to share that news with you guys um, because I know a lot of people were starting to think it was canceled or it was delayed inevitably. Um, so hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video uh, and hopefully it lifted your spirits. Uh, 2020, it looks like it's going to be an exciting start to um, an exciting expansion plan for CGA. So congratulations, CGA fans. Um, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.